today. All had fun and all learned about the game of basketball. Rights activist Gandhi once said, there's more to life than increasing its speed. Well, if Gandhi would have known Bill Jen Corella from San Clemente, California, he now, might have thought differently. When it comes to trick-or-treating on Halloween night, brains probably won't be the popular choice, present company excluded, of course. But if you're in the mood for a different kind of Halloween treat, you can bring the entire family to Tuacon Theater for a thrilling experience. Speaker and former Olympic gymnast Shannon Miller can attest to how important passion is out in the field or on the court, but especially in the game of life. Number one, you have to have the passion. Recreation have Center to play basketball, you'll notice one rule posted everywhere on the backboards, and that's no dunking or hanging on the rim. But today, a special visitor will break that rule. Utah Jazz forward Jeremy Evans made a stop at the Recreation Center today, part of the annual Junior Jazz road trip, a trip that will take Evans over 4,000 miles conducting 42 basketball clinics in four states in three weeks. Recreation coordinator Rosie Rosander says this kind of trip is great for St. George. Being uh, 300 plus miles away from the Energy Solutions Arena, it's not always easy to get to the games. And so this allows some of the kids to see the players and, and, uh, and to be up front with them. It's our way of bringing the jazz to the fans. Um, Utah's got a huge fan base. And geographically, it's not only Utah, but Idaho, Wyoming, Nevada. We hit a bunch of states. And it's our way to bring the players out and let them meet their fans. I always tell them that you know, I wasn't supposed to make it because a lot of people told me that I wasn't, you know, I wasn't big enough or I was too skinny. But um, I tell them, you know, I just kept fighting. And my mom told me I could be what I wanted to be as long as I believed it. So uh, just to get them to believe and turn them into jazz fans. How tough is a road trip like this where you're going multiple weeks compared to an NBA road trip? Um, well, I wouldn't really compare because it it's not, not as hard doing this because, you know, it's just kids. And uh, I feel like I'm a big kid myself. And uh, it doesn't take as much energy. Uh, we do about 45 clinics a summer, and we're gone for three weeks, so it's quite the endeavor. No matter who came to the St. George Recreation Center today, all had fun and all learned about the game of basketball. What did you learn about basketball? To be a good sport. It was really fun. I actually scored against him. <laughs> He just was helping us and showing us stuff that he could do. What was your favorite part about being here with Jeremy today? When he threw the ball up and he dunked it. He can jump really high. On any given night at the Tuacon Amphitheater, you may witness a large crowd entering the well-known venue for a Broadway caliber show. But on this cool starlit night, something strange and undead has made its presence known to the gathering audience. Now when it comes to trick-or-treating on Halloween night, brains probably won't be the popular choice, present company excluded of course. But if you're in the mood for a different kind of Halloween treat, you can bring the entire family to Tuacon Theater for a thrilling experience. Odyssey Dance Theater's Thriller has risen from the grave once again to the devilish delight of fans here in Southern Utah, but the popular Halloween production has not always been a sure howl of a success. In fact, creator and Odyssey director Daryl Yeager admits the show almost suffered the same fate of many a Halloween monster. When we first started, we, uh, we had four performances at Kingsbury Hall, and the guy called me in about a week before we opened, and he said, you know, You've only sold like 50 tickets of this thing. Maybe you should give up, you know. And I and close and not 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 do this show. You're going to lose your shirt on it. And I said, well, I've been in the studio and I know the stuff we've been putting together is really cool. And if I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down in flames. So we went ahead and did the show. We wound up with maybe three, four hundred people a show in that first in that first weekend. And I I figured the word of mouth would 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 work for us, and it has. I mean, it's grown, and now from those first four performances, it's grown to have we we have two separate companies that travel all over the state of Utah. We do over forty performances, and uh, and and we can't keep up with the demand. It's amazing. So just like Frankenstein's monster. 
thriller has come to life in ways unthinkable by its mad creator. And with that life comes unique opportunities for other certain creatures of the night to wander with the living once more. <laughs> So whether you're a ghost, a mummy, or a vampire, the secret to Thriller's success is not necessarily in tricks, but rather treats. A lot of people think that there's a lot of scary stuff, but there's not really that much scary in the show, really. It, about 80% of the show is actually very, very humorous. It's very sick humor, but there's a lot of, you know, it's Halloween, you know. And so uh, for me, I really enjoy listening to an audience laugh you know and and i feel in many ways they it's a very cathartic experience for the audience to come in and and enjoy themselves have you know and, and celebrate halloween in a fun way for southernutahnow.com i'm ryan forsey saying don't feed the zombies and have a happy and safe halloween <laughs>